Hi. A major hindrance to an expectation of privacy is something called the third party doctrine. It states that individuals do not have a reasonable expectation of privacy and in information if they disclose that information to an outside party. The application of the third party doctrine can be demonstrated in the 1979 Supreme Court case Smith versus Maryland. At the request of the police, the telephone company used a pen register to capture the telephone numbers being called by a suspect. No warrant was obtained. But based upon the data collected through the pen register, the police were able to obtain a warrant to search the suspect's home, and this ultimately resulted in the suspect's conviction. The Supreme Court said that this case was different from the Katz case that we discussed earlier. The pen register only collected the telephone numbers and not the content of the calls. They rationalized that people voluntarily convey telephone numbers to the telephone company when they make a call and therefore do not have an expectation of privacy concerning the telephone number. The National Security Agency uses this decision to justify its metadata collection in the United States. Now, does this also apply to email? Well, the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals in 2010, in a case called United States versus Warshak, ruled that emails do require a warrant. The court figured that if the government must obtain a warrant for the regular mail delivered by the post office, then it should also require a warrant for email. This decision only applies to the Sixth Circuit, Kentucky, Michigan, Ohio, and Tennessee. So if you live in the other states, the feds do not think they need a warrant. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals declined to extend Fourth Amendment protection to cell site data in the United States in a case called United States versus Carpenter in 2016. In this case, it said that cell site data does not reveal content and therefore is not protected. But on June 22, 2018, the United States Supreme Court overruled that decision in Carpenter versus United States and decided that the acquisition of cell site records was a Fourth Amendment search and did require a warrant. So it appears that as time progresses and awareness increases concerning the cyber abuses of government, the courts may slowly correct the abuses bit by bit. It's going to take a long time. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.